30,000 dirhams for a can of caviar. Look at the price of this balsamic vinegar. 100 year old balsamic vinegar. 2,500 dirhams, guys. I've been holding this bottle the whole time. It's like 2,500 dirhams. Francesca, here. Good thing you didn't drop it. Yeah, honestly. Oh. So what is the most expensive can of caviar that you have? right now? Yeah. I'll show you now. What's up everybody and welcome back to another video. It's your boy DJ Bliss and I'm back with another one. Another one. Today I'm here at Tal Touch. I met a guy by the name of Massimo on social media who is an Italian guy who moved to the UAE to bring some of the best truffles and caviar in the world to Dubai, all right? Now he's got some of the most expensive caviar. He's got the most expensive truffles and a lot of other products that use some of these ingredients. So let's go inside, let's meet Massimo and let's check out some of these expensive and amazing Amazing products. I really? see you. Was our team? Yeah, good, good, good. Nice good. to meet you. You're fam more famous than me. Oh, why? I thought I met a lot of people. Then I saw this wall. You've met a lot more people than me. These are only the first year when I opened. <laughs> <laughs> it's been great because at the end, food connects every culture. Okay, great. Yeah. You know? So, where are you from? Dubai. You're Dubai. Marathi. But you don't have the. <laughs> it's not connected. <laughs> Over here, like nine years ago, and uh, I saw that here they were treating truffle in a totally different way than what we used to do in New York. So I went uh, with the bag one by one to all okay. the chef, and that's why they call me Truffle Man because that's your name, you know, right? This is your Truffle Man. Yeah, Truffle Man. That's the name of Truffle Man because he used to go with the desk. At the desk with the truffle, that we pick it together, and then we create a relationship. So like in American where you do things like food service, oh, I need truffle, give me now, okay, in an hour you have it, oh. boom. And that's was like, oh, in Dubai you can have stuff like this. They're not used to with this kind of product. So they didn't have good service of truffles before you. Okay. They had, but maybe they had truffle, but maybe when it's in season. You want truffle, okay, you order two, three weeks before. You want a kilo, it is your kilo. If yeah. it's good, bad. You want another kilo, wait, I order, pre-order, prepare it. Two weeks later, you got it. Yeah. To me, one gram, half a kilo, three gram. Tomorrow, tomorrow, two gram, we do it. That was me. That's you? 30 kilos ago in New York. <laughs> I was 22. Oh, man. That's me with a six pack. <laughs> and now the turtle flip. That's Dubai life. Here was the biggest truffle ever to enter in UAE. Oh. We sold it to Roberto for 200,000 dirhams, 87,000 plus. But one kilo, it's like a diamond. My first client was Zuma. I brought the truffle. The chef Riff, now Riff Kushiashi, I don't know if you know, he has oh, many he, restaurants here. Yeah. Yeah. Look, I was pulling out truffle from a Carrefour bag. <laughs> I didn't have a Rolex. <laughs> <laughs> so I started selling to Zuma, he baptized me the truffle man. And then uh, in front there was Roberto. Nice. They brought me to LPM. And then from one there and the other one, then a lot of local family. Allah, thank God. Look, His Highness, yeah. Sheikh Hamdan. Sheikh Hamdan, this is Mohammed from uh, Abu Dhabi. Maradona, rest in peace. Maradona, rest in peace. Yeah. Here in Dubai, I find that people are very curious. You know, what is the truffle man? You leave like just selling truffle? No, I love it. I, and, uh, his Instagram is very good. We're gonna put it in the description below. Check it out. His Instagram is great. I mean, someone really passionate about what he does. About uh, and then from truffle, you start to do all different things. Yeah, I truffle saw. oil. You have the truffle cream. I have some truffle honey. I didn't know this was your stuff. I have uh, truffle mustard as well. Yeah, yes, yes. I, I will give you some presents. I have some salt also. No, I give you this. This one I give you as a gift. Wow. This is truffle loni with gold in it. Wow. So we do everything with truffle. I produce everything. Everything in Italy. I have my cousin and we put together the money and we bought the machinery. So I control the quality. And this is all your own brand now, Yes, right? all my own brand. There are products that are also my own brand, like oil, vinegar, pasta. So listen, I went to Italy. Okay, yeah. Not Italy, Italy, Italy. It's the name of a it restaurant. Italy, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I saw this balsamic vinegar there and I was thinking, who buys this? And come over here, guys. Look at the price of this balsamic vinegar. This is 100 years old. 100 year old balsamic vinegar. So how much is it for this bottle? 1,050 years. Yeah. Is around 1200 dirhams. 12 years old balsamic vinegar of Modena with yeah. the blink. And this one is that is white balsamic vinegar. With okay. gold? Yeah, this is with gold. You know, like in New York, you have the snow. Yeah. Dubai, oh. you have the gold. Guys, I don't know if you see it. You know, in Dubai, it don't mean a thing if it ain't got the blink. Yeah, this is the blink. And this is 100 years old, 2500 dirhams. But this one is being practically from more than 1200 liters. It gets reduced by time. 100 years ago, in most of Europe, balsamic vinegar became like the only thing that was cleaning your lungs. Long time ago, people was dying by a yeah, yeah. And this is the cure? Because it clears the lungs. It's like a balsamic. Wow. That's why balsamic amore is very famous in the world. So this is not like you don't pour this all over your salad. This, this is like one is something you use if you put the yeah. drop. But if you put on a filet mignon or a steak, you know when you have nose like Doremi, this yeah. goes. La si do re. 
<laughs> like she really goes out. Oh okay. my god. This is over here, guys. Mustard with summer truffle on a little steak, a little touch. Yes. Boom. Bada bing, bada boom. This, for example, these are like, see, this is the lemon. This is also white balsamic vinegar. Also, this one, but it's made like pearls. If you see inside, yeah. it looks like a little summer roll, yeah. but it's not eggs. It's all made with textura. So, practically, you can put your vinegar on a steak. Oh, possibly. I've seen this before. So, it's little balsamic balls. It's a little balls. Then I have my olive oil. This I don't make it, but I've been selected and buying this one from Market region for a long time. Then we have another uh, oil and products. Yes. And then this pasta. This pasta, for example, uh, this there is 20 egg yolk per kilo. Oh, that's a lot of egg yolk. Yeah, 20. That's a lot of cholesterol. Yes, but it's good. <laughs> then we have caviar. This oh. we, have, we buy caviar and we import caviar. We import caviar from Iran. We import caviar from Italy. Italy is the biggest producer in Europe. China is the biggest producer in the world. Of caviar? Of caviar. Iran yeah, has the most ex expensive caviar. Right? Iran has very, very good caviar. The best caviar. It's like, the best caviar depends. Okay, caviar is like 50 shades of gray. Yeah, correct. So it's a bit uh, on the taste. It's like art or music. Maybe you like, you know, Pavarotti music, like whatever. It's yeah. really up to a bit of the culture. And, uh, it's up to you. So the taste that you develop in your life can be totally different. I sell caviar to people that like to party. So they buy a cheaper caviar, then I almost have no flavor of yeah. fish. I'm not going to say which restaurant no. I had it. I couldn't taste anything. It was like nothing. There are caviar, then yeah. you put it in your mouth, boom, it tastes like caviar, boom, it disappears. Yeah. You leave your cream palate, nothing. Some other has something called the frequency. It's a frequency of the taste. So when you put it in your mouth, it stays. And that one is more covered caviar an expert they think that's better yeah. like you rent the Lamborghini you, do, yeah. you get a the caviar then uh, yeah, yeah. it doesn't, doesn't taste show. like fish in your mouth it takes a long time for example a caviar a sturgeon takes about four years to find out if it's female or male I watched the documentary oh, you did? It. Yeah. yeah it's a great documentary yeah well, imagine great. you start like this a beluga fish is about big like this table it's like two and a half meters tall it's under 80 kilo and about 10 kilo are caviar but it takes 18 years to grow yeah. it's like a kid that's crazy I don't know why I've been holding this bottle the whole time it's like 2,500 dirhams Francesca here Good you didn't drop it. Yeah, honestly. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That was terrible. So have you tried everything over here? Yes. Nice. This is a good job, huh? You come here, you try the caviar, yeah. you try some Even trouble. Even the knives. Even the knives? Oh, guys. <laughs> okay, I'm scared. See you later. Bye. <laughs> guys, I'm going to try a 100-year-old balsamic vinegar. A bottle of this costs 2,500 dirhams. Check right? it out. You tell me what you think. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, my God. Generous, mm -hmm. huh? 100-year-old balsamic vinegar. I saw this in a restaurant a few weeks ago, and I thought, who would buy this? Now I'm trying it. See yeah, how the universe yeah. works? Okay, yeah, but it's a different thing. You tell me. All right. Whoa. Wow. It's an experience. It's, it's a, a different thing. Yes. This one, I'm, if you put guys, I'm crying. There's a tear in my eye. I swear. It's so, not vinegar, huh? It is vinegar. You don't feel a vinegar. You feel like this is a, an experience of a... This is, is, is something that you enhance foie gras. If mm. you have a steak, three drops of this one. It's totally different level. Wow, that's so good, guys. Okay, we're starting with chapter. caviar. I want to make you try. So, there's many, many caviar. But this one between my favorite. I want to make you try a Chinese hybrid. Very, very famous. It's used a lot. This enhance almost any kind of dish. Sushi stuff. And the specialty is produced in only seven years mm -hmm. and because it's an hybrid the size is very big they invented this one because they want to reduce the timing of producing the egg and have it bigger and yeah. better looking yeah. so they were able the chinese invested a lot of money in this one and so the price is lower but because they can farm it and practically the lifespan to produce caviar is being reduced by half respect to other caviar yeah because you told me 18 years for the other one 18 right? years for a beluga from 12 16 18 depending on each kind of ozetra yeah. a sevruga around 10 and this one is producing seven okay. italian ozetra this is a classic, classic because the flavor has used to be the wild one. Then I want to make you try an Imperial Iranian Ozetra mm -hmm. and an Imperial Iranian Beluga. Nice. So you have uh, the, you have the scale, then you tell me. Because Good. everybody have their own taste regarding caviar. Got it. So look at this, look Beautiful. at the color. Golden, amazing. A lot of time this has been sold as golden beluga, mm -hmm. or the golden something else. This, I sell for what it is. I don't touch and repack anything. I buy it and I bring it to you. I bring it to all the top restaurants, many great restaurants using this caviar. And depends on what you're doing, it's great. If you pair with sushi more than if you eat like this but yeah. you tell me what you think i mean especially when you're eating it with something else the flavor is not all there so you don't need it to be no uh, but caviar can be also a dish complement caviar is not an ingredient it's a recipe because there is a 3.7 percent salt in it so you try you tell me look at this check this out oh this is mm. a serving copy of serving <laughs> We leave here, we um, try the other one, then you go back if you want. Yeah. It's a very uh, mild. The, the mild, yeah. the, no fishiness, At the biggest, goes out, nothing, yeah. and then disappears. Yeah, you're right. Once the last egg is gone, but that's this particularity of this caviar. And the frequency is also the way you feed the fish, because they change the way they feed the fish through the year. So the diet of the fish is what gives the flavor. And being in a tank, that's the only way you can change the flavor. So the flavor is mostly constant now. When instead in the wild, you, had, you don't know what... You, you know, like if you go in Italy and you go to some farm and there is a chicken running wild, they have a totally different flavor, because you don't know what they eat. They can eat the worm, yeah. 
yeah, yeah. Uh, so that's give it the flavorness. That does give it the, the rustic, the, the, the wildness. This one is all fed by like cat food. <laughs> they oh, have yeah, a, the little palace. They have the little palace. Little, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so they have different one, but that's what gives the flavor at the end. Yeah. Now, this one instead is Italian. It's a classic Cosetra, different color. This looks more like the one that I used to get. Tell me what you think of this taste. Because this one, you have something, I told you right before the frequency, and goes and goes and stay yeah. in your mouth and give you satisfaction. Ah. This one, you can eat half a kilo. Have a look, guys. Yeah. Wow. Top. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. Mm. Right away. It hits you, it stays. You're you know, absolutely popcorn. right. This one, when you take it, it's not This one enhances the flavor of whatever you're eating. This one, if you want to just try, mm. and it's like satisfying. The strength is not salt. It's really the flavor it's not salty. Of, of, the, of the caviar. Yeah, I actually felt this was more salty than this one. It is more salty. This is a 3.7. Chinese only lasts five months in the can. This one lasts eight months because they put more salt and it's more fresh. This is turning into a documentary today, huh? Man, <laughs> no, man, no. This is going to be great. We might have to call ne no, ne Netflix. Make... Call us. Come on, Netflix. Now, this one. Ozetra Iranian, Imperial Ozetra Iranian, and Belu. You see how big it is, this one? This is about 3 millimeters, 2.9. This one as a beluga is small, but the yeah. flavor, bam. Here we go first with this one. Osetra. This is the Osetra Iranian compared to Osetra Italian. Same fish, same age. It looks uh, pretty similar, but Very similar. a little bit lighter, right? Tell me if the, the flavor is the same for you. Totally different, different characteristics. Different, different. It's like a little creamier and it's not fishy. This is more distinct. This makes you, I don't know what, like, oh. Yeah, yeah, you, this is like caviar is there. Now this is the top. This is the king. This is beluga. This is the king of the can, castle. Yeah. When you go beluga, you never go wrong. <laughs> Francesca, you want yeah, some? Yeah, Francesca. I was asking, so she gets to try everything over here all yeah. the time. All right, here we go, guys. Beluga. Thin. Cheers, cheers. Cheers. Creamy, <laughs> distinctive, mm. satisfying, and delicate. Oh, yeah. Wow. For the bang for the box, I always go Zetra. I just think, like, for me, because I've had caviar, I'm used to this experience of the flavor. Like this for mm -hmm. me is fine, but someone who's not really used to it, I think yeah. they would uh, go for something more. Ozetra is always a sure winner. You can go to many, many restaurants, they use both. This one is mostly served with blini and everything. You make your own dish and you enjoy it by yourself with right. the food. This one is always served with food. Let me check the camera. Yeah, man. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh. Wow. Yep, yep. smiling. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> I'm gonna switch you for a minute. <laughs> there, you go. there you go. Um. Enjoy. Yeah. It's my passion. I, I really, my eyes light up when I talk about food. That's yeah. why I found you, Massimo, because like, your Instagram account, I was like, I need to meet this guy. He's so passionate I about do, what I do. I do everything myself. I don't have a really media or it's something. It's amazing. Woo, this different, has huh? been a it's great different. experience. This is the sell one kilo of uh, Chinese caviar in Roberto's. Bam. How much? One kilo. I think 30, 40,000. Wow. 30,000 dirhams for a can of caviar. And this is the cheapest one, right? Yeah. Trouble. This is a 200 dirham. The classic is 340. So this is 200 dirhams? 200, 340. 340. 420 and 900. 900. Reasonable. So it's about double, you know? Yeah. But these are all 30 grams and then in proportion okay. with the can. So there's 30, 50 grams, 100 grams. So, so you, no, but honestly, now that you try them all, which one are the one you like the most? Honestly, I think it's somewhere here in the middle. This no. one, I really feel like it reminds me of the taste of the caviar that I had when I was uh, younger. The wild Good, one. and you had beluga when you were a kid. That's <laughs> Massimo, so what is the most expensive can of caviar that you have? right now? Yeah. I show you now. Italian beluga is the best. Few restaurants also sell it as they are. But this one, 14,000 dirham, alpha kilo. Ooh. But uh, this one is the uh, king, out of the world. This is 14,000 dirhams for this yeah. half a kilo, guys. Look at this, size of my palm. But this one, me. you have a party or something at home, 14,000 dirham. Boom, Massimo, thank you very much for the video today. I want to show you the truffle. We are gonna do the truffle, and we're gonna do this on our next video, guys. So Super. stay tuned. Massimo is gonna show us the most expensive truffles in the world, available here in Dubai, yes. on the next video. Super. Which one is it? Which one, really? Which one is my favorite? Maybe you should try all of them again. Then you can uh, find them. <laughs> you know how many times I tried to <laughs>